Welcome to the Spirit of Life channel this message begin right now. The seeds of remembrance greetings and salutations my beautiful beings of light. Your participation in reading these messages is so very wonderful. The messages through this channel are encoded and communicate to all your levels, dimensions, and aspects. Does this surprise you my beloveds, did you just think that your physical essence was the only level enjoying the information? The Creator sends you a love wave of the purest pink essence you will ever experience. Be still now my divine light beings and allow this love to enfold you knowing that it is being enjoyed on all your levels of awareness. Be still and allow yourselves to be loved. You my beloveds need the Creator's love so very much. The Creator's love is really what you are craving my divine light warriors. You have been searching high and low and attaching all kinds of desires to this sensation but it really is this one type of divine interaction that you truly are seeking in your lives. Oh you think it is a feeling for this person or that romance or that thing or that friend but in reality it is the Creator's love that you are missing in your lives. This is why these other types of love that you experience are not long term or satisfying. You are always looking for something more are you not it is the connection with spirit that is missing and most desired in your life. You know this on a very deep interplane level allow this remembrance to come forward and acknowledge it. In this acknowledgement you will open up the intention to bring more of it into your current incarnation. One can never have too much pure unconditional love. This is one energy that can never be requalified into anything other than the purest and highest of gifts. It is a gift my beloveds and it is to be given and received. Please accept this gift that the Creator extends directly to you. Many of you my beloveds have written such very difficult life scripts for yourselves, you've deprived yourselves of this connection and this love in exchange for a fast track of evolutionary growth. Growth you say, yes growth how else can your higher essence experience these sensations, these experiences unless you my divine light beings provide the opportunities to view all sides of itself. Your higher essence knows only love and this allows the expansion and knowledge that is needed to foster compassionate understanding for all things. Compassion is one seed of remembrance. There are many seeds awaiting your activation in order to bring forth the remembrance. You have planted these seeds my beautiful beings of light. You scripted these triggers into your playbooks prior to your incarnation upon this earth plane. The question on your minds is how do you activate and open the seeds to expand your current perceptions of awareness, your knowingness, your remembrance. You would be surprised to know how much is really already open but your ego is too busy to acknowledge that you've uncovered a trigger nor does it really want to relinquish the control to allow you to recognize it. Those ah, ha, moments are all around you awaiting your recognition of them. When you miss one they do come back around but typically the lessons or learning is much more progressive and harder. When you angels can't get your attention my beautiful beings of light they might just have to use a spiritual proverbial 2x4 dot that is angelic humor my beloveds, your angels would never harm you but the lessons do increase in intensity until you grasp what you are supposed to glean from that experience. Your ego because it desires to keep control of your current state of veiled illusion would have you thinking and waiting for the booming voice in the dark with flashing of lights and ringing of bells that would then usher in the trigger awakening moment. It is true that the awakening can occur in this fashion but for the most part you will find the triggers are small non-intrusive moments that simply are awaiting an acknowledgement of opening to understand a broader scope than you currently are allowing yourselves to experience. Triggers can be a word, a look, a sound, taste, smell, any sensation. That was scripted to bring that remembrance to you. It is kind of like an association game. An example, you smell your mother's perfume and all of a sudden mentally this picture pops in and forms, you see yourself dancing at a ball dressed in a gown that certainly does not belong to this time or space. Or a mental picture keeps coming to you of a man sitting on top of a mountain peak dressed in a saffron robe. When stilling your mind to explore that mental image it brings forth a remembrance of another lifetime when you were a Tibetan monk. Allowing yourself the still quiet moments to explore these openings my divine light beings is what brings more and more remembrance to you. The more you accept with discernment and allow what is coming forth the quicker you are at connecting the dots. You start with yes there are other lifetimes that have been lived, therefore one can correlate that there are more realities than this current incarnation is showing. 
it is taking these experiences and adding and adding and adding that thins the veil and shows more and more of what you really are and where you have come from perhaps what you are going towards as well. Asking yourself questions also opens these seeds so that answers can begin to flow forth. Nothing will arrive my divine light beings until you give intent and are ready to begin the journey of remembering. You might say but I've never given intent and this is occurring anyway. What you do not realize my beloveds is that intent can be given on many different levels of your awareness so it is not always necessary for your physical character to provide this instruction. Once this door has been reopened my beloveds it can never be closed again during this incarnation. So if you are ready give intent, mentally, verbal or in written form I am ready and intend to begin my inner journey of remembrance I am open to receive the divine guidance to expand my awareness, thank you my creator of this opportunity to remember who I truly am, and then allow, accept, receive and give thanks for the universal answers that begin to grace your life. These openings will come in small tidbits typically, sometimes medium-sized spiritual packages that allow you to review the data integrated and then be ready for more. Some depending upon their missions within the earth plane may receive larger what we will call spiritual downloads. Are you ready to take the steps that will allow you greater access and understanding of who you truly are? Find the courage my beloveds the moment is now, your mission is awaiting. Allow this messenger to take you on a meditative journey. With your permission this messenger will accompany you along with all your selected entourage. This particular subject my beloveds will require a number of sessions to fully materialize what will be put into motion during this initial experience. Be patient with yourselves awareness comes when the student is open and ready and willing to receive. Working with this meditation several time a week is suggested. Find a quiet spot where you will not be disturbed for a while. You may either sit or lie down whichever is more comfortable for you. Cover your physical self with a light blanket if you chill easily. You want no distractions during your meditation so always make sure the physical vessel is comfortable invite in at this moment all that you would have join you on this adventure. In your imagination ask through prayer for the Creator to send you down a protective ray of white light by saying my Creator I ask for a protective ray of white light to enfold me and lift me up so that I may experience the very highest of vibrations during this journey into my most inner depths of understanding and being. I am protecting myself from anything that is not for my highest good on this journey. I thank you my Creator for assisting me by sending this ray that is now coming down through the corner of the area where I am meditating. It is entering into this physical form, permeating all that is within this beingness presence. The Creator has gifted you with an iridescent white ray, a yellow ray plus a divine pink ray for this journey. These are entering into your body through the solace of your feet and moving up through your physical vessel, permeating throughout all of your energy fields into all corners of the area that you are in, then exiting through your crown chakra. The rays are returning to the Creator and cycling back down through you again and back to the Creator in a circular motion. Your breathing in and out is now forming a figure eight around your essence. The sign of infinity is rhythmically continuing over and over again with each in breath and out breath. You are now divinely protected and nothing can even communicate with you that is not for your highest good without your permission at this moment if it helps you to visualize by identifying your ego with a symbol or object please do so. Direct your ego self to perch on your left shoulder. Instruct your ego self that it is to only be an observer on this journey. Breath in deeply my divine light beings and feel the lighter relaxed feelings of being divinely guided into this meditation. Breath in deeply and know that you are breathing to the pulse of the Creator. Listen to the Creator's heartbeat and feel the love that courses through you each time you think about this moment breath in deeply allowing and seeing within your imagination your guardian angels join you and take your etheric hand to guide you into your spiritual heart chakra. Your guardian angels, spirit guides and special invited guests are now within your spiritual heart chakra and as you locate and turn the doorknob of the golden door that says to my highest guidance within you cross over the threshold. You find yourself in a white marble corridor. You look around and kind of remember this place. Your angels smile and you then understand that you have just opened a seed of recognition to remember that you have been to this location before.